everybody, welcome, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play. Right, today, first of all, I think I want to kill these skeletons. Hiya! I was hoping for a bit more XP than that, so that we can enchant a nice new pickaxe. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. I think 130 zombies skeletons is enough for one level. Man, these guys of armour take some beating. Some of these, they're all falling 22, 21 blocks. It sort of take a good beating. And lots of XP. I'm pretty sure we've reached level 30. <laughs> right, let's do an enchantment. Something good? No. Great. Right. This episode. We are going to go to the nether because last episode we started on oh, there's some more now, on the storage corridor which is just down here. I haven't made any more progress with it yet because I want to make comparators. The only problem we have is I have no never quartz. No quartz, yeah. Yeah, no quartz. So today, we're going to be making the first trip of this series to the nether. And as I said before, we're going to be building the portal up here. Just make enough room. I'm going to leave that there just in case I die in the nether. I've brung pretty much basics with me. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, we'll make it a bit bigger. Four. Oh, maybe we won't be leaving those. Never mind. Yeah, it's better. Alright, hopefully, oh, a flint and steel is going to be helpful, I think. Hopefully, we come across a fortress on our first ever trip there. would be absolutely fantastic. Let's go this way. Yeah, who knows? We might get another fortress, we might not. We might be in the middle of nowhere, we might not. We might be in the middle of a lava pool. Hopefully not. Because I'll end up dying. And the pick I'm taking with me is a efficiency 4 and breaking 3. Which is pretty much less than half, more than half used. So I ain't going to be too worried if I break it or I die. I'm still going to be taking my iron armor, which has got my depth strider on. Which I don't know if I want to take or not, but I'm going to anyway. Because after this, we are going to be getting upgrading to diamond armor. And I'm lost. Can't wait to get some more stuff built in this area so that I can actually navigate around a bit easier because I'm absolutely useless with bearings and stuff. It is not cool. Right, let's have a little munch before we go in there. Probably lose all 33 of our levels. There it is, guys. The first portal of this series. Um, what's going to happen? It's not going to be too bad, I suppose. Because, ah, no quartz. Brilliant. The 
is pretty safe. I'm not going to get shot by any gas, which is helpful. And this is actually going to be quite helpful for building our nether hub. We've got some nice glowstone there, which I didn't actually think about even getting. But as it's right here and there's nothing around, I do tend to keep checking whether I've actually put this on hard. But oh, it's supposed to be locked. I don't know why it's come unlocked. But I'm, I'm never actually going to change the level, I'm never going to change it to peaceful to do anything, even a mob system I'm going to do in hard. Oh, let's collect some nether quartz, should have brought me silk touch, without getting lost. <laughs> Gotta say, my bearings are absolutely dreadful. Let's we'll do the old Anthony and Gretel trick by bringing in torches. And they'll follow my torches <laughs> on the way back. The problem is I can't actually remember how many bits of quartz we need to build comparators. So that's not a great start. Right, we've got some more in here. Look, this is what level are we? 79. This must be near the top, which is going to be super handy as well. Because obviously, the best type of gold farm to build is on top of the nether. Sending them to the overworld. Oh, I hear a guest. Yay! Great. <laughs> Excuse me. And just to warn you guys, I am absolute terrible shot at shooting guests. I'm sure as we go through this season, we'll hopefully get better. Hopefully. Right, this fire is out. Really don't want to die. Oh, the, this cave system seems to end here. Right. I, I'm not too sure actually what level the nether goes up to. I might have a quick squiz, but I think. Feeling we're pretty close to the top, like I say, which would be super handy. I hate that it places torches down straight in front of me, I don't mean to. Oh, maybe it's a bit higher than I thought. Let's have a look at that in a creative world, see how high it actually is. Worried about it. Another great place to get mushrooms, this is as well. I find. Right, we've got some more quartz up here. It's starting to look a bit more open up there. And just really open that we are close to the ish to the top. And there's a never, a, um, a never fortress. Remotely close. Getting some good. Bit of glowstone, really. I'm forever dying normally to try and get glowstone. Because it's so high up normally, you, t you pillar up and then a gas comes along. And like I said, I am a terrible shot with a bow. So I end up getting shot off and then dying. <laughs> Happened more than once, I could quite easily fill a hour video up of bloopers of me in the middle dying. Oh, we've got some. Oh, we are looking to open there. Fancy no nether 
Oops, just sorry. Take this and then. Yeah, it's a great place to get mushrooms, I find, because they're normally pretty easy to find. Which is one part we need to get done, because obviously later on through the series we're going to work our way up through like tiers of food. Once we get the first farm up and running. Which I'm not too sure what it would be. I might. I'm thinking a potato farm. And I'm lost. And yeah. And I'll see later on in the series when we got to meat. And then the plan is to do something I've never done, which is actually to make a soup. We've got beetroots now. I think we can make beetroot soup now. So. I basically want to later on stick to eating just soup, which is pretty expensive. I don't actually know if it stacks. I hope it does. Like I say, I've never actually made the stuff or even looked at it later on it or anything like that, so I really don't know. What I might do is just dig out a big area where the portal is maybe this sort of direction without dying and the hidden little lava pockets which are pain in the backside which is one of the other things that you need to be careful Sometimes it isn't too bad, I guess, because I, I tend to do it a certain way. I'll run each direction from the one two hundred blocks, lay down torches, and run back the other way, and then do the cross shape north and southwest. Nine times out of ten, you, you do tend to find another fortress pretty quick. the longest I've lasted in, in the nether for the first time I've been in there. How far are we going? Yeah, quite far. Yeah, this area is pretty solid, which is a good thing for making a nether hub. And I tend to do it quite a lot when I want to explore the nether world. I'll run probably 100, 120 blocks. Take a portal, jump in, and see what biome we end up at. That. And then keep doing it until I find what I'm after. Obviously, now you have the ice biome with the new igloos. I'm sure it's igloo. Which look pretty cool. Which is like what you need to find in our world. I think they've got some hidden stuff in, and the new enchantments, which is one thing I like to talk about. Mending. I think what I'm going to probably do if I ever, ever manage to get it, because I believe you can't enchant a book to get mending on, it can only be found. To be fair, it is quite OP. I'll probably stick it on the sword, which one makes the most sense. And I'll probably just keep that sword for slaying mobs. Probably later on down the line, it'll be a creeper one. And we got a guest straight away. Oh, we got set a bow. Where's that from? Where'd he go? Oh, oh, oh. 
the three millimeter filters. Damn it. Mm, is that right? Oh, that looks like one there, but. Can I turn up my chunk distance? Is it. No, I have it on around 18. I think it is. I think that is actually better. Dig along in this wall because the gas do t actually terrify me to be honest. <laughs> like I say they're forever killing me normally and they make a dr absolutely dreadful noise. I have no idea what Mojang come up that terrible noise. And if you could silence just one mob, I would definitely silence the. Um, in this sum series is actually brewing. I've never really got that in depth into it. I don't really know half the recipes. God, how far into this wall did I dig? Obviously one of the, the main items for Oh, lightning glitch. Loading very quickly and easy. So what have we got? Oh, I'm not doing too bad. I've actually got over a stack of glowstone. I didn't even think about that. Well, I can't hear. Kind of just for the courts, to be honest. Which what I'm going to do is get rid of some of these because we don't want that. That's what is it called? Nether wrap. Let's run back this way and we'll, I'm really interested if that is a, debris, a debris, that is isn't it, oh gas please don't kill me, that is another fortress I believe, so I don't die. So you see we are quite high up in the nether. Obviously not near the top. I'm gonna have to find out what height that actually is. Uh, what can we do here? Just get a torch off. Do that that way. I should come across where we are. There we go. Floor. Let's get some torches down for now. Is oh, well that one there, amazing. Oh, lovely, lovely iron. Give me, give me, give me. Let me keep the gold for a minute. Gast, uh, gast. These guys are absolute awesome for XP farms. That's why, that might be why the lighting is going funny. Well, I'm going to leave these torches down for now. I, I know that the um, obviously decrease the rates. Not seeing too many mobs, eh? Which at the moment is a good thing. What a load of rubbish that is. I'll keep that there just in case. That might come in handy. If I forget a flint and steel. One time and a gas blow up the portal. It's happened to me quite a few times before. Oh, where's this way? Oh, into another section. Which is actually covered in. There shouldn't be any mobs in here. Is 
one downstairs. Peach here, Freud. Oh, we're ready to get it in this. Get our lunch horse armor. Yummy. As I've now got a couple of horses. I've got a white one and a, a caramel type of coloured one. Oh, I do we take that soon? So, um, I do believe we can't get a gold meal. Right, let's just check the area first to see what I'm engrossed in what I'm doing. Let's check this box. So, um, oh, look at this lovely arm. Take me. I'll leave the boxes there because they've got flint and steel in. I say it, it will be handy. Right, get this. Is it secured? Another one. And I didn't bring a shovel. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to get some of this out without me shovel. I should have brought my pea shovel because this will take half a second to dig. Farm up so that it'll make it easier to build a giant farm. Oh, which way would it go? Upstairs, would it? Oh, I think I'm gonna probably head back. And I can guarantee there's probably mobs down there now. Yeah, I see all that. I'm a terrible show of this play. What's the with his banana pants on? Look at his bananas and pajamas. Right, give me another skeleton. with that noise, it's absolutely dreadful. Yummy, lots of quartz. I'm actually thinking you actually have to look up here to build the, um... Oh, we nearly went. I to actually make the... Coordination is, is really bad. It makes things ten times worse. I think it's a lag spot there. More mobs. Nope. Okay, that worked out in a pretty awesome place. Which is quite handy because in this area, I think I will probably... Make the nether hub at a later stage. See what I mean? Like I'd pillar up there, like from down there normally. Pillar right up there to get that glowstone. The gas would suddenly appear, bop, knock me off. Dead. 
and I will be absolutely furious. Because it's just massively annoying when that happens. It's gravel, I didn't know gravel was in here. Wow, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, another area so far. Another thing I've never actually done, never even looked into doing, or had any type of design or anything, is a river skirting farm. Coming with lots of ideas for the season. And a river farm will definitely be one of them. I imagine that will take a while because we're I'm guessing a lot of it will have to be completely automated so that it actually kills the pigmen and not the river skeletons. So river skeletons I believe are three blocks tall. So if you suffocate the pigmen at their head it shouldn't I hope kill the river skeletons. But yeah. To me that was an absolutely successful run. We got just over a stack of claystone. Dust anyway. Our port was quite safe. Ain't gonna get blown up, won't gotta worry about and cage it. Normally stick a cage on it, that's why I burn all this cobble. I have terrible luck in the nether. Right, we made it back to base, it's safe and sound. So yeah, that was a completely successful run. I think I remember how to make a comparator. We will soon see. We'll just uh, a couple more little bits before we call this video an end. As we're now over 20 minutes, I think. I don't want that. It's rubbish. Right, I think it's stone. Oh, I have too much junk on me. I think I'll get rid of some of this. Stick that in there for now. And that. Yeah, I'll stick that one right there. There's enough room in there. And that. 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 Let's just fill up. Great. Look. This is half the battle of why I need to get the storage system at least started. Because I've got chests everywhere at the moment. Right. We need stone. Uh, stuff with nether quartz. I believe the layout for it is like that. With torches there, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, we must have some wood here somewhere. Must have some wood here somewhere. That's what we're going to do. I really don't know that much, but hey ho. Okay, there we go. 64, which is not enough. We need three stacks. Because I believe they were in that shape. Oh shh. Alright, do we have enough redstone? We must have. Yeah, look at all these blocks we've got. Yummy. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Crafting table. I can tell you now, guys, that there is going to be crafting tables all over my world because I get very lazy and can't be bothered to go and look for them or head to where there is one. So I tend to build one and put it down. There ends up being millions of them. So we'll probably do some redstone ones. Sweet. That is right. Alright. Let's get 
get these in the sorting system and record this episode in the end, I think. So, yeah. Peeps, if you would like to leave a comment, subscribe would be fantastic. And we'll take this journey together on our survival world. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? These are probably ending up in the hoppers, it looks like. <laughs> At least they're not getting lost just that way. Wicked. So yeah, if you could leave a comment and a like would be absolutely great and very much appreciated. Support would be absolutely fantastic because we've only just started this journey of being a YouTuber, which I'm very much enjoying, it's taking me a while to get used to trying to talk constantly, so I'm, I mean I actually love the game, but I'm normally a very quiet person, I keep myself to myself, some of these actually got stuck on this filter in it, because these are on. Stop them. So yeah, I'll get a little bit more done on this as you've seen how we're building the segments. I'll probably fill the room with them, or I might save it to do it on another day. See how I feel. And yeah, catch you guys next in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.